Taran tan tan taran tan tan tan. Natural Science Class with Teacher Fernando. In this video, we are going to learn about nutrition and all the systems that are involved in this process. Nutrition is a process that takes place inside your body. It isn't just eating food. This process provides your body with all the nutrients and energy that we need every day. We also need oxygen to have the energy and our body eliminates the waste products that we produce. There are different systems that take part in nutrition. One of them is the digestive system. The digestive system absorbs the nutrients from the food and takes them into the blood. Another one is the circulatory system. It moves nutrients and oxygen around your body. It separates waste products. Then we have the respiratory system. It takes oxygen from the air and releases other gases. And last, we have the excretory system. It eliminates waste products. Let's have a look now at the four different systems. The digestive system. It is a long tube that allows your body to absorb the nutrients from the food you eat. It has different parts. Digestion begins in the mouth, mixing the food with saliva, which makes it easy to swallow. Then the food goes down the esophagus to the stomach. In the stomach, food is mixed with gastric juices and passes to the small intestine. The small intestine separates the waste products from the nutrients. The blood absorbs the nutrients and carries them to the cells in your body. And last, the waste products pass into the large intestine and leave the body through the anus. Okay, let's move on to the excretory system. The excretory system eliminates waste products from our body. It consists of the urinary system and the sweat glands. Here we can see a picture of the urinary system and on the right we can see a picture of the sweat glands. The urinary system removes the liquid waste from the body. It has different organs. The kidneys filter the blood and separates the waste substances. Together with water, these substances become urine. The ureters take the urine from the kidneys to the bladder. They are thin tubes that carry the urine. Then the bladder stores urine. When it is full, it sends a signal to go to the toilet. And at last, the urethra takes the urine out of the body. Now let's have a look at the sweat glands. We also eliminate waste products with the sweat. It is a mixture of water and minerals. When your body is too hot, sweat glands produce sweat. It goes through the pores to your skin. This is called perspiration and when it happens, your body cools down. Let's go now to have a look at the respiratory system. 
when you breathe in, the air goes into your body through your nose or your mouth. Then the air goes down to the trachea and the bronchi. They act like tubes and bring air into the lungs. Once inside the lungs, the air goes into the alveoli. They are small air sacs. And finally, the alveoli get the oxygen from the air and pass it into the blood. The blood also transfer carbon dioxide into the alveoli. When you breathe out, the carbon dioxide leaves your body. This is called a gas exchange. Now the last of the system involved in nutrition, that is the circulatory system. The circulatory system is made up of the heart, blood vessels and blood. It transports oxygen and nutrients all around your body. It takes waste products like carbon dioxide to the lungs and waste substances to the excretory system. The heart pumps blood around the body with three different types of blood vessels, arteries, veins and capillaries. Arteries take the blood from the heart to the rest of the body. Veins take the blood back to the heart and capillaries they connect arteries and veins. The gas exchange happens in the thin walls of the capillaries. And now let's have a look at food and nutrients. There are six essential nutrients that our body needs. Proteins, fats, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals and, of course, water. So, let's find out about them. Proteins make muscles and cells strong. That's their function. Where can we find proteins? Well, we can find proteins in the meat, fish, eggs and milk. Fats. The function of fats is to protect against the cold and also they give us energy. We can find fats in milk products and fish. Carbohydrates give us energy. And we can find carbohydrates in the bread, cereals and pasta. Now vitamins and minerals. They make our body work well and they are important for the nervous system. Where we can find them? Well, in fruits and vegetables. And at last, water. It is essential for our body. All the other nutrients need water to work well. That was all for this video, I hope you like it and see you in the next video. Bye all!